Hello, hello and welcome to the channel. We are here today, courtesy of the girls and guys at Bates Wharf, to have a look at this Beneteau on Tears 9. Now, this is the later generation boat, which you can tell quite easily because of the amount of extensive hull glazing that runs right the way down the side of the boat. This, to be fair, isn't hull glazing, it's just a dummy window to keep the look going. But really impressive boat and pretty good value for money. So let's go and have a look on board. So here we go, we're up on the gantry looking at this 2024 model. And just out of interest, because this is a show model, she currently doesn't have any engines, but this would be fitted with a couple of V6 200 horsepower Mercury outboards, which obviously what that space down there is for. Again, nice to see little bathing platform extensions over here that pop out around the engines. Little stainless gate lets you into this deck area here. And then you've got this really surprisingly spacious, what is a nine meter boat, dining area. Now you'll notice there's runners in the floor and that's effectively so you can move this whole unit in for folding the engines up. Under here, tons of storage in that locker in there. There's another storage bin over there. And there's a little storage locker under here like so and as you can see there's this table which is currently in the half fold position but you can fold that out completely giving yourself a very very large external dining area like so and also underneath here to where we're standing because it has outboards on the old variants there would be an inboard engine here but because we now have outboard engines this entire locker or well, this entire space is now a lazarette. So my assistant will, from Bates Wharf will help me open this and show you what it looks like. So it does open. Opens up and gives you access to this really decent lazarette. Batteries are under the boxes there. Now obviously if you take this table out, this gentleman stepping over, take the table out, it obviously moves forward further. And then you've got fuel tanks outboard on both sides. So there you go. And then you have access through both side decks. So this one is deeper and sunk. And on the other side, if we take a quick look, you'll notice it's a little bit narrower and is raised. So it still gives you the ability to go forwards, which we will do. But this is the deck you choose to go forward on. Nice grab rail up top, nice high grab rails either side. And as we pass the helm station, you'll notice there's side door access. And then if we go all the way forward up here, you'll notice there is a decent fore deck, deck hatch for escaping and to let ventilation in, and then a glass panel here for illumination. And then forward here, we have the little anchor locker. So you can gain access to the chain, bit of storage there, windless and windless remote in there. So, and then up top, you can see those glass panels that throw light down below and that opening sunroof. So if we head back on board, I'm just going to swap hands as I jiggle myself forwards. Back down the side, so a surprisingly decent side deck for the size of boat. And obviously the less side deck you have, the more interior space you have. And because of those lights in the, in the superstructure up there and the windows and this big sliding patio door we have here, it's really bright. So galley aft here on the starboard side, as you can see, twin burner hob, nice stainless sink, and a little fold down top on a strut so you can use that for storage. Bit of storage at the back here as well. And then underneath here, as you would expect, the usual cupboardage, if that is such a word. And you'll also notice underfoot, we've got this really neat lighting LED lighting and also you'll also spot that there's carpet so effectively it's non-skid GRP right the way through but you can add in carpets if you want a bit of storage in here for your uh, master switches and battery switches and then on the port side you can see is made up for dining 
table here that you can hire and load, I would imagine, depending on the leg. This one is a fixed leg in the up position, and there's a folding leaf here, so if you want to, you can move your champagne bucket, gently, he says, over there like that. Whoop. Not quite. And then fold this leaf over. You would need to pull the support out, and then you've got yourself really decent sized dining table. Again, you can, if you want, drop that down. You'll notice down here, there are recesses to support that table once it's folded down. And then you can also fold this forward, this seat forward, like so. So obviously you lose the ability to dine, but you gain the ability to have an additional seat or double seat facing forward. Footrest down there, nice grab rail here, and then there's a plug socket over there. And again, really nice to be able to dine looking out. If we move forward, you can see that sunroof is open. You can see all of that forward glazing. And on the starboard, uh, starboard side here is the helm seat. Really nice, little pop-up bolster. And then you can see how great it is to have side access to that side door. So this door slides forward and you've instantly got access to the cleat. So if you were single-handed, just fold that bolster up. You could easily go from steering, throttles, over the pontoon and cleat yourself up on that midships cleat. So engine options here, obviously twin or singles, depending on what you go for, but I think these come standard with the twins. Garmin plotter, Mercury engine control, engine systems, Fusion stereo, carling switches, bow thruster, and the zip wake system. If I take a couple of steps back, you'll see that there's a really nice aperture here and a cutaway section that means that the accommodation area down here is getting all of that natural light from the windscreens and also from that sliding hatch. Two steps down, we'll head forward first, it takes us into the master cabin. And I would just pause here to say, if you like these videos, do please like and subscribe. You'll notice that there's storage all the way across the top in those lockers and across there. You'll now see that glass paneling that we looked at when we went into the foredeck, the escape hatch, those hull windows we looked at from outside, a bit of extra storage in here, like so. And also big, big storage unit under the bed. If we lift that up, you can see it's a big recess there with some of the aft covers and another little box in there and a little smaller section forward. But the nice thing is the amount of room there is at the head of the bed. And because it's a sliding pocket door, you haven't got that awkwardness of how and where the door opens because if I spin around here, you'll notice that there's then two doors that are sharing that lobby. One over here goes into the second cabin. Bit of loose opening storage there. They've got covers on the windows, but there's a window there. There's a glass panel in there as well. And you've got those hull windows that again, we viewed from outside. And this is a decent sized berth. Goes right the way back over there. Obviously, losing a bit of headroom from the dinette and the navigator seat. And across us on the opposite side here, we have the shared heads, which is also a wet room as well. So there's a conventional loo, a molded sink, a bit of storage in there. Again, benefiting from a window, access panel here to the back of the dash. You'll notice there's a holder there for the shower. And if I just step in and open the door, you'll then see loo rail holder there or towel rail and then self drain it out there. And again, this again, if you're wondering, this again is access to the back of the dash panel. So if you open that out, you can get to the back of the dashboard. So there you go. That is the 2024 Beneteau Antares 9. And I just think I forgot to mention that there is a fridge and it's in there. So I'll say thank you very much to the guys and girls at Bates Wharf for letting us have a look around. Do please like and subscribe and have a watch of some of these videos and I will see you next time round.